We have some breaking news. The suburbs reaching a breaking point after busloads of migrants are arriving there instead of Chicago. Casey Cronus joining us live from Ogilvy Transportation Center where a new group of migrants sent to the suburbs just arrived. Casey. Natalie and Scott, this is all unfolding in just the last several minutes. We noticed some migrants who had just exited Ogilvy. They were wearing shorts and T-shirts, some of them wrapped in blankets. We went inside and we'll have some video to show you in a moment. But one of our Spanish speaking photographers was asking them where they had just come from. They said they didn't know what town or what suburb they were dropped off in, but they just boarded the train and just arrived here at Ogilvy Transportation Center. We did also see an OEMC vehicle outside. Some of those migrants are still in the lobby waiting for guidance on what to do next. The group that our photographer was chatting with said they had come from Ecuador originally. Some were asking him what street this was because they have relatives who are coming to pick them up. Now all of this has been happening in the last week with migrants taking trains to Ogilvy from various suburbs. It comes after Mayor Johnson has implemented harsher penalties for bus companies that are not following the guidelines. In response, suburbs that don't have resources, including shelter, to handle an influx of migrants or coordinate their travel to the city have begun passing ordinances to discourage bus companies. Tonight, the village of Elburn has called a special meeting after 38 migrants were dropped off there last week, taking the village by surprise. Officials say an English speaking liaison had traveled with them and distributed prepaid metro tickets to the new arrivals. Now, most of them boarded a train to Ogilvy, while a handful were picked up by family members who live here. Meanwhile, Mayor Tim Balderman of New Lenox signed an executive order last week restricting unscheduled buses from stopping there. He says they've had police stationed at the metro station and have yet to receive any migrant buses, but they did find one migrant who was lost walking along the highway. We did have one migrant the other day who was walking down Route 30. Uh, we were able to, with our fire department and police department, communicate with this migrant who had said they had been walking for a day and a half. They were told that they were in Chicago, and of course they weren't. So our fire department uh, checked them to make sure they were healthy, make sure that there was no medical issue, pending medical issue, and then we were able to put them on a train and, and send them to the city of Chicago. Okay, so you are now taking a look at the video that we just filmed inside the lobby of Ogilvy. You can see a few different groups of migrants wrapped in blankets, and as you can tell, they are not equipped for this weather. Of course, as they were just dropped off in a suburb and then boarded a train and just got here for the first time. It is unclear exactly where some of them will be taken, if they'll be moved to the city's landing zone for official check-in or perhaps taken to another their shelter or police district in town to get out of this cold. We are reaching out to the city for more information on what is next. But what we do know is that the city is also not in the loop in terms of when these trains of migrants now will be arriving here at Ogilvy. Reporting live downtown, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Casey, thank you. This situation is not unique to us here. The governor of Texas is sending asylum seekers to several big cities. The leaders of some of them are proposing solutions. Mayor Brandon Johnson joining the mayors of New York City and Denver to call on the government to issue work permits to migrants before they arrive in their cities. Whether it's New York, Chicago, or Denver, this entire country, uh, between descendants of slaves and indigenous people and immigrants, um, this is how this nation was formed and built. Mayors are also calling for a federally coordinated approach similar to plans enacted recently for refugees from Ukraine. And more migrants could be arriving here soon. The largest migrant caravan of the year, some 8,000 strong on its way to the southern border as I speak. Top Biden officials are in Mexico right now urging the president there to help drive down illegal border crossings. The Biden administration is committed to expanding legal pathways for migrants, but says it needs more funding from Congress to do so. It's about bad 
policy. If we would go back to the Trump policies of the wall, Title 42, uh, and remain in Mexico, we would be in a different place on the border. The president understands. He understands that we have to fix this immigration system. It has been broken for decades now. Well, that said, any funding for the border as well as emergency aid for Ukraine and Israel is currently on hold until Congress can agree on new immigration policies. Let's turn